What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Dell battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves a goodie. We got ourselves a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are rocking out with Chlorophyll Victory Bell alongside with a Drought Nine Tails. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. It really goes a long way. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribers. So if that's one of you guys, seriously, do me a favor. Click that big red subscribe button to join the community. But like I said, today we are rocking out with the one and only Victory Bell. And I absolutely love this Pokemon. It doubles its speed in the sun due to its chlorophyll ability. And it can just hit like a truck and put Pokemon to sleep left and right with Sleep Powder. We gave this thing the Life Orb as its item. And then this thing is rocking out with a moveset of Sleep Powder, Sludge Bomb, Weather Ball, and Solar Beam. Next Pokemon is going to be the Drought Nine Tails pairs up perfectly with the Victory Bell, allowing it to uh, trigger its ability Chlorophyll by setting the Drought and having Weather Control. We got Heat Wave, we got Protect, we got Solar Beam, and we got Will O Wisp to burn on physical attackers. Then, last but not least, our item of choice is going to be the Focus Sash, just so this thing doesn't die in one hit. We can either get off a nice little Will O Wisp or big damage with the Heat Wave. Third Pokemon on team is going to be our Speed Control and Flinch Control Weavile. With Fake Out, Ice Punch, Throw Chop, and Icy Wind, you really can't go wrong with this Pokemon. Item is going to be the Extra Belt. Usually, I like to give it the Focus Ash, but in this instance, I want to give the Nine Tails the Focus Ash, so I just gave this thing the Extra Belt. It pretty much outspeeds everything, so I think it works perfectly in most situations. As long as it's not getting one tap, you can get off a few turns with this thing, which is really, really good. Really, really good. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be the one and only Road Wash. Cannot go wrong with Rotom Wash. Such a good special attacker, works well in most different situations, and it can uh, bulk out and hit hard at the same time. It's got the Citrus Berry as its item, and then its moveset's rocking out with his Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Nasty Pot, and Protect. He's going to be one of the two Pokemon that can set up with an, uh, an attack or attack boosting move to get this uh, get this team prepared for a sweep. Because, you know, if I can set this thing up with Nasty Pot, I also have Tokus on team. We can just follow me out and pretty much sweep. Next Pokemon is going to be Scissor, and this is the second Pokemon that I was talking about that can sweep a team. We got Sword Dance on him, so if we can set that up, you guys know this Pokemon can just get rolling out, KOing people left and right. We got Bull Punch, we got X Scissor, Sword Dance to protect for this single moveset. And last but not least, the item we are rocking with is the Metal Coat, because, you know, usually I like to give it the Life Orb, but Metal Coat works considering the Life Orb is over on that victory. Final Pokemon on this team is another Pokemon that I already mentioned. It is going to be Togekiss with that Eye Papa Berry. It's got the, uh, what is it, the Serene Grace as its ability, alongside with the Follow Me, Air Slash, Protect, and Dazzling. Usually when I'm using a Togekiss and I want, like, more of an attacking Togekiss, I go with the Super Luck and the Scope Lens, but in this instance, I went with the Eye Papa Berry and Serene Grace because this one's built more for support. It's trying to protect the Scissor, trying to protect the Victory Bell, trying to protect the Rotom, trying to get them all set up, and at the same time, it has Serene Grace so it can flinch Pokemon with Air Slash with a high chance of that. So I really do like that i really do like that but there it is guys there's the team we're gonna be rocking out with today let's hop inside that coliseum and look to get rolling with a win in battle number one let's get rolling ladies and gentlemen hopping into our first battle for today's video let's see who our opponent is rocking out with and he's rocking out with a rain team so we got rain versus drought team coming in here in battle number one he also has scissor lightning rod manetric and then he has latios for speed control and for heavy hitting and then last but not least he has that lovely little blast which, who if i had to guess is rocking rain dish has its ability to get some hp back in the rain so we'll see we will definitely see but i kind of want to leave victory bell if i can get victory bell out there with the sun we can do some work we can definitely do some work so i'm gonna go victory bell or i can go weavile I could go Weavile as a lead. Weavile works pretty well here. It can outspeed a lot. Definitely grant us a lot of control. So you know what? I'm going to go Weavile alongside with... uh, we go Tokus? I mean, Tokus ain't too shabby here. Tokus could be solid. I could go Ninetales here as a lead, but I really don't... I just don't think that's a play. I do not think that's a play. I could go Rotom here. He does have Lightning Rod. So you know what? I might go Scissor. Try to, try to potentially set up the, the uh, Scissor here. It'll work wonders. And then I want to go Ninetales and Victor. If I can get weather control, we could definitely be in a great position to win this battle. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But let's see who this guy rocks into. Let's see who this guy leads. But I just feel like the Victory Bell Nine Tails lead is just, it's just uh, too predictable. So he goes into these two. I'm cool with that. I can fake out the Ludicolo turn one. Actually, I'm gonna swap and then fake out the Ludicolo. I think that's gonna be my play all day. Right? Do we do we have to change the weather? Dang, dude, I should have led the Victory Bell because then I could just hard swap in. Could have definitely been good. Could definitely be good. But from here, I can just uh. I'm just gonna fake out him with his turn, and I'm just gonna swap my. Ooh, I could dump on him. No, you know we're just gonna we're just gonna swap. We're gonna we're gonna change weather here. I'm just gonna change weather. We're we'll changing weather so my Weavile can outspeed, and then we can just get off a fake out. And whatever Pelper wants to go into, maybe a Tailwind. That's fine. That would be fine. I'm cool with that. It's probably a Tailwind, right? 
it's probably a tail. We probably should have went to the Pelipper. Probably would have been a little bit better here. Let's just see what he's going to do. Weavile's going to fake out. Mwah, get a little bit of clap. Do some damage. And what's Pelipper going for? Bloops, are you going for a tailwind? Just going for a straight skull. That's fine. Into that slot. Wow. That did a, that did a good amount of damage. That did a solid amount of damage. Because he got a crit. Get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face with that crit. Okay, so from here, I could actually icy win. So I'm really liking icy win. And I'm thinking of just dropping a... Oh, they're going to just drop a heat wave. I don't know why. I just really like a heat wave here. I just really like a heat wave in this situation. We might swap the Pelipper. I'm hoping he doesn't swap the Pelipper. Yep, there goes Pelipper. The Pelipper's gonna dip back here. I'm actually really fine with this. We're gonna, we're gonna get a little bit of speed control here, and plus we're gonna get off some heat wave damage. The Latios comes out here. That's all right. That's all right. I'm cool with that, because I can Ice Punch an next turn if I really want to. Ice Wind's gonna poke. Slow down his Pokemon. As long as he doesn't take out my Ninetales. It could be sitting decent. Actually, as long as I get rid of Ludicolo, the Weather Ward doesn't really matter. The Weather Ward doesn't really matter in that case. Let's see how this one plays out here. He was going to poke here. Yeah, ye give me some burns. Just chip up some damage. Not bad damage there. Beautiful. And this thing's going to go for a Skull. Can we eat that? I don't think we are. Eat it. Nope. No eats. Okay, so uh, we got to get rid of this Ludicolo here. We have to get rid of this Ludicolo. Both these guys are minus one. But now I can just go in the Victory Belt and force him to swap with them, right? That's got to be the play. We go in the Victory Belt while the sun's out. And we force him to swap a Pokemon. So from here, what's my play? What's my play call here? What is going to be my play call? Good throw chop. Could definitely throw chop. Could just go into an ice punch in this slot, which I think I'm gonna do. And then I think I'm just gonna sludge bomb and take out this thing, right? If he swaps in Pelipper, he swaps in Pelipper. It's not that big of a deal. I'm kind of cool with that because I can still just icy wind and start going from there next turn. The only one that's getting really a bonus from this, uh, from the rain is going to be the Ludicolo. Yep, there's the withdrawal. Oh, from you. That's fine by me. That's that's dude, that's totally fine by me. I have an ice punch flying across this way. An ice punch should go first. We have this thing minus one. Love you can drizzle up all day. We have that uh what is that? The expert belt make this thing do even more damage. And he okay, okay. This for an ally switch. Ally switch with this. This turn's kind of a little whack, but still I'll take it all day. We got some big damage here. That's why I was gonna poke here. No, oh, you send it that way. And look at that damage. Look at that lovely damage. Look at that lovely damage. He pops a berry. I'm still going to Ice Punch in that slot. Ice Punch is still definitely the call. If he wants to Ally Switch, he can Ally Switch. That's fine. That is totally fine. I could Icy Wind, but I'm, I'm thriving. I could actually swap you if I want to. I could swap him into Sizzle here. But I wish I had Protect. I wish I did have Protect here. Because how, how fast is Victory Bell? Victory Bell could be at least faster than this... Uh, that's close. I don't know if it's going to be faster than the Pelipper because the problem here would be if he just drops a, uh, if he drops a, what's it called, into us. A Hurricane. Did we just withdraw Saladios? Is he going back into Ludicolo here? It could be. It could be Ludicolo. It's going to be Ludicolo. And we're going to take it out with an Ice Punch, which is going to be lovely. Oh, uh, send it that way later. Okay, so Ludicolo drops out here. I'm cool with that. And I wonder what Pelipper's going for. Because Weavile is really controlling this battle. Like, good thing, yo, my victory battle speed's going to KO here. Let's go, Victory Bell. Let's go. All day, baby. All day. So we did. Dude, Victory Bell's thriving in the rain. He is thriving in the rain. He has Latios left, which I'm not worried about one bit. Actually, I might be. Latios might outspeed a Weavile. It's going to be cutting it close. It's definitely going to be cutting it close. He's going to have Blast Weights here in the back end here. Okay. So I cannot go for a. Uh, I cannot go for a Solar Beam and get off turn one. So I think I might put him to sleep. I think I might have to put that Blast Weights to sleep. Where do I slow him down? Could slow these guys down, but I'm just gonna go straight for an ice punch here. Get off that turn. I'm gonna go to try to put this thing to sleep. I am going to try to put Blast to sleep. We bow straight up out speeds. That's beautiful. Get out of here, Latios. We bow is so good. It is so good in this format. It outspeeds pretty much everything, and it can hit like a truck with the extra belt. He goes to a shell smash. That's totally fine. What's he think? Is he gonna set up and go for like water spouts and win this battle? Nah, yo, he's going night night. We putting him to sleep. We're saying night night. We're telling him to take his night quill. Take his melatonin. He's going to bed. We're putting him to sleep right here. Land it. Land it. Land it, Victory Bell. This guy has too much stuff going on. He's raising a bunch of stats. He's dropping stats back. Go ahead. Put him to sleep. Night, night, baby. All that for what? All that for what? Get out my face, dude. Get out my face. Night, night. Victory Bell puts that thing to sleep. Yeah, look at Victory Bell just absolutely thriving in the rain. Doing so much work here. We're going to go through for a... Uh... No, we're just going to slow this thing down. You know, we're just going to do that. I'm going to try to set up a solar beam and just disrespect this guy. Get a solar beam rolling. Get a solar beam rolling. We're just going to keep putting this thing lowering it in speed. Just so my boy can set up a solar beam. 
The disrespect coming in hot. The disrespect coming in hot. Solar beam comes out here. We are absorbing light. If it, obviously, if the drought was here, it would go in one turn, which, which is absolutely amazing. But we're trying to disrespect him here. Don't cancel battle. Do not cancel battle. Cool, cool. Icy Wind's going to come out here. Victory Bell should be able to outspeed now. The disrespect. The solar beam disrespect. Obviously, we could just run into throw chops and sludge bombs and just finish this thing off a little bit quicker. But I want to hit this thing with a lovely, lovely little solar beam. Which is poking out right here. With a life orb, it's stabbed. This thing's gone. Get him out of my face. Super effective as well. Big old beam of solar. Later, Blastoids. Later. Oh, he ate it. This dude ate it. Wow. This dude ate that. I'm kind of upset with that. I'm kind of upset. But it speeds back to normal. I'm just going to hit this thing with throw chop. That's going to be GG's. That thing ate it. Wow. Wow, he ate it. Let's go for a sludge bomb. Cool, cool, cool. Cancel the battle, dude. It's over with. There you go. He wakes up. What's he going for? Bruh. Bruh, should I run and give this guy the win? Should I run and give this guy the win? Heck no. Not while we're recording. Not while we're recording. We're gonna slap up on this dude. Sludge bomb poking. Bill. You know, we didn't even we didn't even have to bring out our scissor. Dude. We didn't even have to bring out our scissor. Our scissors are main man pots and pans. Scissor rips. We didn't even need it. There you go. Battle was finally canceled. 1 0 to get us started. We're hopping into our second battle for today's video, and you guys know to deal with that one. We're looking to go back to back, but our opponent picked six Pokemon, so you know what? We're going to go with a little bit of 6v6 action here in battle number two. We're going to get rolling. We're just going to clean sweep this guy with our Sun Squad. And we're going to roll from there. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. But um, he has a pretty cool team. He's rocking out with Articuna, Latios, uh, Dragonite. And then he also has the uh, Rhyperior, Gyarados, and Rotom Heat. So I think the Sun Squad works really well for a lead here. It kind of counters up on a lot of these different Pokemon. So I'm with all day. Besides the Dragon. Besides the Dragon, guys. We're going to bring in the rest. And we're going to roll from there. But yeah, Sun Squad, I'm just digging it. I'm just digging here. I really do like it. I really do like it. But I wonder what items he's holding. Kind of curious. I had to guess maybe Latios is holding the Life Orb or even the Soul Dew. I usually like to give it the Soul Dew so I can give the Life Orb to somebody else. But he also has the Rhyperior. Who Rhyperior is kind of scary. It does mean damage, but it's kind of just there, I feel like, on the team just for tricking purposes. I feel like it is definitely just there for tricking purposes. But let's see who this guy leads and let's see who he goes into. Because he could lead Articuno for maybe like a Tailwind purpose. But I think Ninetales can outspeed the Articuno before Tailwind can even set up, and we can just roll out and dump on it with a heat. That's a good turn. That could definitely be a good turn, but he has no other way of weather control, so Victory Bell should be thriving here if he can land his sleep batters. Because you know, nothing's worse than uh, missing sleep batters. Missing sleep batters is awful, dude. Let's see what he goes into. Rhyperior and Articuno do get the lead. Uh, I'm cool with that all day. I think just a heat wave and a solar beam could just rip into this. Right? He gives me no reason not to do it. He gives me no reason not to do it. Let's rip into it. Let's do it. Solar beam. Right into this. And then just a straight up heat wave. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Do we think any of these guys are stashed? We should be able to outspeed them both. Definitely victory bell. But Ninetales should be faster than the Articuno, I believe. Solar beam comes out here. Yo, he doesn't even protect him. Doesn't even protect. He's, he just wants to. He just wants to ride here to die. He said, yo, ride here. I hate you. I want you to die to the solar beam. The solar beam drops later, dude. Get him out of here. Easy, light work, gone. And a crit on top of that, even though he was dead regardless. He was dead regardless. See how much damage Ninetales can do. Ninetales should be able to take out this Articuno, I'm thinking. Let's see. And we do outspeed, which is beautiful. Heat wave pokes to rear. Get him out of here. Oh my lord. Oh my god, dude. This guy shouldn't have picked 6v6. He shouldn't have picked 6v6. He's done for. I warned him. I warned him, dude. He, he, I, he shouldn't have done it. He shouldn't have done it. He shouldn't have done it. There it is, yo. There it is. A one-turn victory. We just solar beam, drop the right period, no problem. And then we come across with that heat wave. We say, Articuno, get out of my face. There it is. Two and oh. Let's go hop into our third and final battle. Try to have a full one. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And we got paired up with the same exact opponent from battle number one. That's pretty cool. So we got a little rematch on our hands. Let's get rocking here. Let's get ripping in battle number three. And look for ourselves a nice little perfect record. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's get ourselves this perfect record. Um, who do I think he's going to lead? I think we lead the victory belt alongside with maybe the Weeball. Kind of go from our mistakes last time, and then we can potentially just pop into Ninetales and kind of wall from there. I really do like that. I really do like that. And then we're going to bring Toad Kiss and then Ninetales in the back end. Got it, right? We have to, right? 100% our please. I do dig it. I do indeed dig it. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down and get rolling here in battle number three 
Battle number three is rematch, guys. I don't mind rematch, especially if the first battle was solid, which it was. He's going to go Pelper alongside with Manetric, so he has the Lightning Rod out and about. We have He has the Weather as well. So I could honestly just fake out and kind of just go from there, which I think I'm going to do. Which I actually... Does... The, does Victory Bell outspeed? I think Victory Bell does outspeed. We're going to put this thing to sleep, actually, and we're just going to fake out this Manetric here. And then we'll hard swap into the Weather. I do dig that. I do dig that turn. Fake out's gonna come out here. Yeah. All right. Drop some. Oh, that's some big. Oh, crit. Oh. Oh. Victory Bell outspeeds and sleep powder connects. Mwah. Beautiful. So he put this thing in sleep. Okay. Now I can hard swap. Kind of just gonna roll from here, right? I'm thinking of just hard swapping and going into a nice little sludge bomb or something. Or I could solar beam and just finish this thing off. Yeah. I'm with that all day. Yeah, we'll hard swap into Nine Tails now. I really like this weather, dude. I love Victory Bell, dude. Victory Bell is such a cool Pokemon. Really, really cool. So now we're going to hard swap the Weavile, and we're going to get rolling. Your boy is buzzing right now. We are buzzing. We're having some good battles. Having some good, ba good battles. Gal comes out here. Yeah, send it this way. And we're going to drop a nice little solar beam, which should just be able to dump on Manetric, no problem, right? Should be able to say, hey, yo, Manetric, go home. You're not allowed to play anymore. You're not cool. Get on out my face, right? Yes, sir. Yo, victory bell with that life orb. Nasty. Nasty. The solar beam's base like 120, I think. Just get it out in the drought. It's hitting one turn every single time. It's stab. Just doing some work. Paloops. Nice little shiny Pelipper. One of my favorite. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time, dude. Look at him. Paloops. I, I honestly used to hate Pelipper when I was a kid. Like, yeah, yo, Pelipper's kind of stupid. We don't like him one bit. But this guy is crazy for going into scissor while my boy's chilling here. Crazy, crazy. Uh, we'll just go into another solar beam. And Heat Wave should be able to take this thing out, no problem. Unless he protects him. Which he could, but I think he's just kind of waiting. I know he has Ludicolo in the back. This is going to be a clean sweep, yo. We are just thriving in today's video. This is absolutely eating up. Is this guy going to quit? If this guy quits here, we, we might run a fourth battle. But we'll see. We shall see. He's got to know it's over. He's got to know my Ninetales out speeds. He's going to withdraw the Paloops, dude. He's going to go into Ludicolo, right? Ludicolo's got to be his fourth and final mon, right? Yep, Ludicolo comes out here. I think he's just looking for weather. And he... He doesn't protect. That's a double kill, yo. That's GG's. That's GG's. That is G to the G's. This thing should bring it down decent enough for the Heat Wave to kill it, right? Yeah. And then Heat Wave should be able to kill the scissor. Wow. Wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well. Clean sweep for battle number four. We got an opponent quit in battle number two. We have a clean sweep in battle number three. And first battle, we versus our, this opponent right here. It has a solid battle. We did have a solid battle all that, But Victory Bell's just been thriving. Just been thriving. He's been thriving. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. We are just thriving, dude. Pelper's gonna come out here with his eyes closed. I hate to do this to you, Pelper. I hate to do this to you, but we're gonna have to kill you. We're gonna have to kill you. Actually, he's, he might survive this turn. He might survive this turn. You know, due to the heat waves and all that. But I think this guy just canceled, right? Yeah, battle was canceled. You know what? Let me bring you guys a fourth battle. Let me bring you guys a fourth battle because the second and third battle were rather short. For the first time ever on the Jeans channel, we're looking to go 4 0. I'm bringing you guys a fourth battle here. Let's go 4 0 for today's video. We're going up against a solid team. We might not be able to go 4 0 up against this team. He's got Cresselia, the Hariyama for fake out. It's a Dragonite, the Torkoal, the Rhyperior, and a Storm Train Gastron. Gotta watch out for that Trick Room, and that is definitely scary. Uh, I feel like maybe Victory Bell had to come out here alongside Weeball. So we could potentially put his trick and Pokemon to sleep. I really do like that. Then we're going to bring Nine Tails in the back end. And then last but not least, who do we go into here? This is tough. Uh, it's either Scissor or Togekiss. Rotom would be good, but he has Storm Drake Gaston, so I really do not want to mess with that. But I'm leaning more towards the Scissor or Togekiss over here. Togekiss could be good up against the Dragonite, the Hariyama, which I really, really like. But then Scissor could be good up against that Rhyperior and just having first turn priority all around. And all up against the what's called here as well. Cresselia. But, you know, I'm going to go Togekiss here. You guys seen plenty of Scissor across the channel. So we're just going to go Togekiss here. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number four. I haven't said that ever. Battle number four. Feels weird. Feels weird. But it gets Cresselia alongside with Torkoal. Um, I am cool with that. I am just going to fake out the Torkoal here. And go for the sleep pad on the Cresselia. That's going to be my play all day. That is definitely going to be my play. So Drought is out and about. He does set the Drought for us, which which we love. Which we love. And I'm just going to have to, you know, try to put the scissors. That's my play. Put that thing to sleep, and then we're just going to go for the fake out. Right? 
If the Torkoal doesn't protect, he's gonna get off a big eruption, which is scary. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. We gotta put this in sleep. We have to say night night to it. We have to say no, no trick. Okay, so fake out comes out. Great call by me to actually flinch that thing. And sleep powder comes in here and it connects. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we connect on the sleep powder. We put Cresselia to sleep. As long as this thing's not lumbering, which I highly doubt it is. Gotta be left of it, right? Yeah. So she's probably going for trick room. We're just gonna hit that thing with a throw chop and we're gonna start dealing some damage overall. We're on to this lovely little tool. So throw chop can come out here. Heat wave could do me dirty. Heat wave's probably looking for a double kill. But you know what? Screw it. I'll be that guy. I'll be that guy. Double sleeps. Double sleeps. It's our it's our only way out of this one. It's our only way out of this one. Because Heat Wave will do, do me dirty. And we miss it anyway. God dang it. We should just went for Sludge Bomb. Don't chop poking here. Big old damage. Can you miss my Weavile with this Heat Wave, please? He erupts. And Sludge Bomb would have been a call. So Erupt comes out. God dang it, man. And down goes my Pokemon. Sleep powder number two missed. Got greedy with the sleep powders. Poke guys was like, nah nah. We only allow one. We only allow one. Uh, eruption doing me dirty. Eruption doing me dirty for sure. Uh, we have nine tails in the back end. Could drop some heat waves, which we're gonna have to. I hope that that thing's asleep for another turn. The Torkoal could definitely protect this turn. But we have to go Togekiss and nine tails. Oh, this one's this one's not looking good for us. Not looking good for the fourth and final battle. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Nine tails gonna roll out here. Um, heat waves an absolute must for us. All right, yeah, we have to get off as much damage as we can. So Heat Wave's gonna poke here. And I think we just Air Slash onto the Torkoal. We have Serene Grace. We can get some flinches off if he's not going for any move. And he just protect the Torkoal. I saw that coming, too. I saw that coming, too. Heat Wave comes out here. We need Cresselia to be asleep for another turn, which would be wonderful. We need one more turn to be asleep. Heat Wave comes out here. That's some good damage. So if this thing's asleep, we're chilling. If this thing is asleep, we're chilling here. Cool. Okay, so that thing's asleep. Uh... We go into a heat wave here, and I think we have to go into a gleam on top. Because heat wave might not be able to take it out, so we have to go gleam and heat wave. Heat wave, and then we're just going to dazzle gleam. This battle's gonna be actually really close. This battle's actually gonna be a lot closer than I thought. But yo, dude, if we would land an extra sleep powder, or maybe just went for a sludge bomb. Now I think even if we went for a sludge bomb, that that eruption still would have been able to take us out. But heat wave comes through. That's fine. We double down with dazzle gleam for a good reason here. This is the reason, just take out this Cresselia. So Cresselia is gone. How much damage are we getting off on that Torkoal? Hopefully he's going for an eruption. That'll be better for us. Because it's not gonna do too, too much damage. Let's see, erupt. Okay, cool, he erupts. Both my Pokemon are easily eat that up. All day, baby. Mwah. Soaking it up all day. I'm not too worried about Torkoal too much. We got rid of the Trick Room Pokemon. That was our main, our main thing there. Was to get rid of that Cresselia, which we just did. He's gonna go in the Hariyama. Hariyama can uh, take us out. So I'm just gonna double protect here, right? I'm just gonna double protect. Might as well. Might as well, because one air slash can, can do him dirty. One air slash can do him dirty alongside with the heat wave, so I'm with this all day. Which is going on this. I'm going in with double protects. Hopefully, he's not rocking heat wave. Gotta stay hydrated here, because you know it is hot out because of the drought. <laughs> but we protect here. Double down on it. Throw up our nice little shields. Because I, I don't know who he's going for the fake out on. What's the nine tails? Wow. Surprised with that. What's he going for here? A flamethrower. Whew. We don't like that. Do we think a gleam? Do we think a gleam and a heat wave can take out Hariyama? I mean, oh, drought's gone, so I'm I'm cool with that. Drought's gone, so I'm cool with just going into a straight air slash here. Because flamethrower shouldn't be able to take us out now. Cool. So we wasted out the drought turns as well. Works wonders. Who dodged that? Please be Torkoal that dodged it. Son of a biscuit. Maybe we'll get the Serene Grace poke in here. We have a high chance for that. We have Serene Grace with the Air Slash flinch on it. Get some big damage. Flinch him. Flinch him. Flinch him. We do not flinch him. We do not flinch him. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Okay. So we're sitting. Dude, this one's actually really, really close. Because Torkoal's not going to be able to kill me here. He's not going to be able to kill me here. So Torkoal doesn't kill me here. A Dazzling Gleam has a chance of taking out both Pokemon. And then it can turn it into a 2v1. It's going to be close. It's going to be so close. Please, Gleam, take out that Torkoal. Oh, my lord. It's going to be super close. I wonder who his last Pokemon is. Dang, yo. We're really going to miss the opportunity to go 4-0. God dang. Second Sleep Powder missed. I knew I should just went for the Sludge Bomb. Would have been a little bit better for us. Wow. And we didn't get the flinch. He did text here. I'm cool with that. Come on, yo. Gleam, take out the Torkoal. 
take out the Torkoal all day. Take, just tell him to go home. He's a turtle. What's he going to do? Tell him to go home. Big KO. Big KO coming out. Oh, we get a crit. Mwah. We're not even super luck. We're Serene Grace. We are Serene Grace. We love that. Burn's going to chip through. So we need to go up against a Pokemon that is slower than Togus. Which I think he, he has to bring somebody slower than Togus. Yeah, sure. Not. I'm with it. We have to go into the Gleam and we have to hope we can actually eat up a shot. We do have an Eye Papa Berry. We do have an Eye Papa Berry, which is super close to triggering. And if we get into that, we can honestly just rock Air Slash and just flinch out, right? So there's that. Wow, this seems bulky. This this Gastron's bulky. We got another crit. Wait, oh, oh, is it, are we? I thought we were Serene Grace. What's going on here? Missing the miss. What's he going to do here? Ice Beam. Oh, we're dead, aren't we? Eat this up somehow. Oh, <gasps> Togekiss. Togekiss. Yo, Togi clutching? I Papa coming out? I Papa coming out. We, we're Serene Grace, aren't we? Let me see this. Let me see this thing. Yeah, we're Serene Grace. We're Serene Grace, I Papa Berry. Just wondering why we're getting these crits. Okay, we're, we're banking on flitches here. Serene Grace can come in clutch. We got the speed all day. Let's get it. Let's get it, Togi Kiss. And I think we can eat up one more Ice Beam. Flinch. Let's go. Let's go. Run it. Run it. This, is, this thing's broken. <laughs> This thing's broken. Air Slash, come on. Run it. Run it. He pops Barry. Good thing we're flinching this turn. Come on, yo. I need a flinch. I need a flinch. Flinch him. No! He mirror coats me. Oh my god, dude. Come on. <laughs> GG's, yo. What a great third and final battle. Went down to the wire. We go 3 and 1 for today's video and bring you guys an extra battle as well. Awesome set of four battles for today's video. We ended up grabbing ourselves a perfect record in the first three, and then we grabbed ourselves a nice little extra battle and ended up losing a solid little close one. But guys, great team here today. Absolutely love it. Victory Bell and Ninetales absolutely rolled out strong. And then you have the Weeball and other Pokemon such as Rotom, Scissor, and Tokus. Just clean up some back end and do some work all around. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.